Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never seen me before, my name is Ryla LaFay. Hi, hello, welcome back. Today's look, we are going to do a, kind of a fun one. I um, saw this somewhere on Instagram, so I wish, if I remember the creator's name, I will make sure to put it in the de description down below. Um, but today we're going to be doing a Shadow Man look from Princess and the Frog, so let's jump right in. For this look, I'm going to be using the Meredith Duxbury palette, and I'm going to be using uh, Penthouse Please, which is a very light purple color that's going to be one of my transition shades that I start with. And then the other palette I'm going to be using is the James Charles palette, and I will be using the purple color Escape. This dark one here, maybe a mix of these two, um, for the full look. Starting with the eyes, um, I am going to go in with Penthouse Please, the light purple from the Meredith Duxbury palette, and I'm just going to start slowly building up this color because it's going to get dark quick and we want to make sure we have the right foundation for it. Now going into that a little bit darker purple in the color single, this lighter purple here. Well, it's a darker, darker than the first shade, but lighter than the last shade. The last that we're gonna use. That it's fine, it makes sense. Purple. We're using purple. <laughs> so just continuing to build up this color. Pretty good start. Now we're gonna go in with that darkest purple here and we're going to focus it on the middle to the bottom portion of my eyes. I'm gonna really build this color up. I'm going to go ahead and do the purple underneath my eyes real quick and that is the purple eyeshadow all done. Now, moving on to the fun part, the face. I am going to take a white eyeliner pencil and just trace out where I want this mask to be. Nice and short. Kind of like a skull nose, it looks like it's on his, on his mask. Pretty dang good. outline of the face and what I'm gonna do is fill in the mask part with white and I'm just gonna stay within my guidelines and then I once everything's all filled in I will be right back and um, we will kind of go over these like little areas and define it with black Now that the white is all filled in, I'm going to go around the borders and the little detail spots with black and a small detailed brush. And here we are so far. I am going to pop on some lashes and I will be right back. And here is the final look. What do we think? Ooh, this was so much fun to do. 
Super easy, super simple. The purple came out great. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. And don't forget to follow all my socials, all Rilo underscore Lafay, where I post additional content that you don't see here over on YouTube, like how I take this makeup off. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!